king of it. Rally 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 Another one to tick oh, off the bucket glorious, list, isn't, isn't it? it? Yeah. Amazing. We made it to Budapest. The place looks really nice. It's got like really nice buildings. Everyone looks like they're having a great time in the sunshine. Yeah, it looks good. So we're just trying to find our Airbnb now. I think we've parked really close. Do you think this is the right place? I don't know, I'm calling the bell, whoever, whoever lives here, hopefully they pick Hello. up. Hello, Airbnb for me please. It's never easy with Craig and Amy. They can't just like park somewhere and the Airbnb be there. Just never, not lucky like that. But um, the thought of an Airbnb right now is making my entire life. Because we've been camping for like the last three days. I've had a shower and stuff, but you just don't feel that clean. Plus I've got like Mount Vesuvius on my face, which just means aim you ain't clean we've got about six weeks on the road so we need to keep it as cheap as possible they've left me they've left actually the airbnb was cheaper than a hostel here in the center of budapest so can we just take a minute to talk about your little funky trousers please my gran was a florist and they're dedicated to her so oh, me. she wasn't really hello will you come up Decent gaff. Good morning, Veranda babes. How's it hanging, bro? Looking sweet, looking fine. Morning. morning. So, woken up in Budapest this morning. It's a bit drizzly. Oh, mate, I thought it was going to be a banging day. We booked in to go to the spas, and now I'm going to get my hair wet. My eyebrows are going to fall off. So, we got here yesterday. What a city. We only had a little wander around the streets. But yeah. It's so cool, isn't it? Yeah, we got here quite late, so we just went for some, for some dinner and then came home and just fell asleep. We've been driving all day. So, today. We're going to explore Budapest. Yeah, but first, coffee. This place looks really posh, Craig. I'm not sure if we're allowed in yet. Plus, Mount Vesuvius. Pop this morning, kicking right off she was. Who's your mate? Sue. Suvius. Susan Boyle. She's like, what are you doing camping? She's like, I'll show you now. Bloody camping, that's not what we do. Dirty. Just got to the spa, looks proper posh. I'm not sure why they've invited us. This will be us in about 10 minutes, riding a little fishy. Ooh! Off here, isn't it? Our little wristbands, and we're in. Are you excited for this, Jess, or oh, what? I can't wait to get, like, a prune. <laughs> so there's, like, um, did they say there's, like, 15 pools? 15 pools, mate. Not just one, there's, like, 15. This is a place to be explored. What's her name? Not for me! <laughs> Steam room baby! What a place this is. We're all sparred out. We're gonna go and get showered and changed now. Then we're gonna go get some food and explore the city. Hey. Vegan boy goes for the boys! Thoughts on the spa then, Ban? The spa was lovely. You know after swimming though you get like super starving. I'm like about to eat someone right now. I'm absolutely Hank Marvin. So I found this little vegan spot. Vegan! Around the corner from the spa. So it's like a seven minute drive and we're, we're just going nuts and we. Craig's like, yeah, I'll have the whole thing. Because he can't eat most of the time. Because being a vegan, you're kind of limited to some food, see? All the best. So this Mongol rally, because I've decided to become a vegan with him for this rally. So um, we're going to come home like this. <laughs> Hi, Mum. Don't like it at all. What have you got? Kombucha. So it's like a really good healthy drink for you. It tastes like crap. 
but <laughs> we always feel like we hit the jackpot when we get to the meat. I mean, it looks a bit scary, but it tastes divine. One of the tricky things about doing this rally and coming to big cities is that parking is a bit of a nightmare. <laughs> is it a crack den? Is it not a crack den? That is the question. Well, crack den! Well, the review says it's got bed bugs. Shotguns in the corner. Oh, this is all right. It's quite big. Fridge and everything. Just check the room of the mattresses, lads, for bed bugs. Hey, Alan! Dad, what's happening? Nice to see you. I'm in a hotel in Budapest. What's that bag doing? This is washing, bro. That's all washing. Washing. <laughs> Got our first parking ticket. Got packed. It's about time we washed our clothes. So we've come to the wash point. The wash point. Look at this. All right. Yeah, I do. Tell us one fact about you, Jess. Go. About me? Yeah. I really enjoy cutting my toenails. <laughs> <laughs> one of my favorite things to do. <laughs> so we've just come to a beautiful coffee shop to try and figure out where we're going to drive to next. So how long did it take us to get here? Like eight hours or something? It was it was a hefty one. And it, it turns out that Veranda Babes, she's a little bit slow. So uh, if a drive's going to take us five hours, we'll get here in eight. So that's not that great. We're going to Serbia, Bulgaria, Turkey, Georgia, Armenia, Iran, Turkmenistan, Uzbekistan, Kazakhstan, Russia, and Mongolia. He already knows that because I just told him. How is it? Mm. Out of 10? Eight. Decent. Just what I need though, after all that wind. If you had a big fun party. Fashion <laughs> <laughs> Found a little charity shop and a fashion show. Look at this kid. Ooh. Mate, solid that is. Here, if you bloody go down there, take your cow, you can have it. <laughs> can have it what? You can have it for cheap. <laughs> She's not shy. Joining the circus, you kid? Uh, no, Craig. Selling, uh, selling ice cream, dude. They fit me though. They're actually even classic. Problem is, you haven't got any room for them because you've brought about 12 bags. Literally, my favourite thing in the world is to come thrift store shopping. So we just bought two pairs of really cool, like vintage joggers. Got to the till, like two pound fifty each. Seventy percent off. off in the sale, and they were cheap anyway. So. Never. Seventy percent off. Might as well get this. <laughs> Built in scarf. Might as well. You had a nice day in Budapest, then, kid. Yeah, I mean, like. Hungry is my middle name, so it's only <laughs> right that we were going to get on. I'm going to put this out there, right? And I don't say this often. You love I me. I absolutely love this city. Oh. It's so cool here. I don't know what it is. Whenever you get to a city, you always get these vibes. And I've got good vibes about this place. You're loving it, in you? I don't know what it is. I can't explain it. I think it's just the buildings are so cool. Like, everybody's been pretty friendly. It's got a river. It's got bridges. It's like a photographer's dream here, isn't it? Love a river, love a bridge. Mate. Now I've just been in a, having a paddy because I'm like, the sun's not out, it's not even warm, it's bloody windy, my eyebrows are coming off. Captain Complain, your name should be. <laughs> here we go though, look at these guys having a little boogie by the river. One word review of Budapest. Windy. Windy, <laughs> yeah. So we're all done wandering around the city. 
I had a great time. But we had a ticket yesterday and we've parked in a zone and our time's run out a few hours ago. So we're hoping the car hasn't been towed away. So we're gonna go and check on Ferranda now. Okay, she's still there. But have we got a ticket? You're after the tents, isn't you? Yeah. I've seen yeah. <laughs> oh, got another ticket, lads. Yeah. Okay. Ticket two. number two. Sorry, I'm up to me. What's oh, that? 18,000 now, aren't now. <laughs> Creep it up. It's getting into like the 30 quidders, 40 quidders. <laughs> Good thing is we're leaving hungry tomorrow, so. Yeah. Oh, you little rebel. <laughs> Back to the crack then. <laughs> Next time on King of It. Like, I ain't trying to fuck you for no like black market business. I don't care where you got your stock from. You hit the drum. You know, flashing the lights next to our car. I hope it's not a tow truck.